Hey, what's going on guys? DJ S here, bringing you guys day 12 of 23. This is the 23 Days of Jordan series, and I bring you guys a different pair of Jordans every day for 23 days. Day 1 was the Jordan 1, day 23 will be the Jordan 23s and everything in between. And today, again, day 12, these are the Taxi 12s from the Countdown pack, and it's the one I chose today because I don't have too many pairs of 12s, um, but I do like these ones the best out of all of the colorways that I have. Um, and just about, I guess, pretty much the best out of any of the colorways that are out there. I really do dig these uh, these uh, taxis. Um, I do have the Rising Suns as well, and I might have a couple other pairs. I don't really even know. I can't, I can't remember. Um, but I know that they did retro with the playoffs. I did not get those ones. I wish I did uh, as, you know, black and white or, or a plain normal colorway, but I like plain and I like normal as long as much as I like like yellow and, and uh, you know, Electrolime foam posits and stuff like that. Um, anyway, so yeah, the Taxis are a uh, an awesome shoe. In my opinion, they came with the, the Countdown pack here and the uh, the other counterpart is right there, the Bread 11s, which is part of the reason why I didn't do the, the 11s yesterday. I did the Space Jam since I was going to do the Taxis today. So I was trying to think ahead a little bit um, and I, I think I have day 13 picked out already as well. Looking forward to, to doing that video. And then I'm pretty sure after that, the videos will fall off. You guys won't watch them anymore because most of you guys don't like the, the Jordans after, uh, 13, it seems like. But for myself personally, I like, uh, I like just about every single one of them. There's a couple of them are here or there. I'm like wishy-washy on, but, uh, but I do, I mean, I like the 16s and 17s, um, quite a bit actually. I think they're highly underrated. Both, both pairs are. Um, but I'll get into that discussion, uh, when the day comes. Any which way, these, again, are the taxis. Let's look a little closer at these shoes. Um, great colorway, in my opinion. You can see, it's kind of like a reptile -y, like, basketball print or something. I don't know really sure what they're going for on there. But, uh, but it's a nice texture on the, uh, the shoe on the side. And then I like how it fans out with a white pattern and the tumbled leather. It's pretty nice. Gold eyelets, always a plus with the Jumpman's on them. Um, and I like how subtle the hits are. So it's like, it's basically a, a white and black shoe, and then you have a hit of gold, and it just changes the whole dynamic of the shoe. Really cool. I like the way they did that. Um, this reminds me a lot of, I had a t-shirt back in the day that was, uh, you know, inspired off of the 12, and it had this color uh, on the shirt and and the, the Jumpman and stuff, and I don't remember the, I don't remember even how the shirt looked. I just remember this was uh, inspired from, the shirt, I guess, was inspired from that. Anyway, in the back, it does say Jordan in gray. You can't really see it, but it says Jordan in big words right here. It says quality inspired by the greatest player ever. And then, of course, the Jumpman above. Also, there's a 23 below. And uh, let's see. And the reason why these are called the taxis, or everybody kind of knows them as the taxis, is at the bottom. You can see the Jumpman on the top. I like how the Jumpman wraps around the toe uh, box a little bit. And... Uh, not the toe box, I guess just the, the sole. Uh, and then there's a little 23 in, in uh, yellow here. And then the carbon fiber, and I'll turn on the flash for a second, a um, little bit brighter. The carbon fiber has the uh, the yellow and, and black carbon fiber pattern on, on the bottom, and it's just kind of a classic look to them. really like that. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, the other thing we'll have the flash on to show you the inside. It's the You can see the countdown pack uh, at the bottom, and then there's the, the tag right there. I did actually end up getting uh, three pairs of these originally. Um, actually, originally I only got one. Then, uh, then I'm not sure if you guys remember this, but I think like on Nice Kicks or one of those sites said that there was a restock of the uh, the Countdown Pack 11 12s. I ended up ordering them online, grabbed two pairs of them, and and while I was there, I was like, well, they have the Raging Bull Pack. I might as well grab uh, that one too because it didn't sell out. And I've always said I said this in like four or five videos, but. People still don't believe it. Um, I've been called. I, people were trying to call me out for this, tell me I was like a liar or something. But the that that one back here, uh, I'll show you guys that in a different video. But the Raging Bull Pack, um, they weren't sold out, and and I bought these ones, the two extra ones, and I was like, damn it, I really wanted the Raging Bull Pack. Um, there was so many other ones, the, the Countdown Packs that came out during that same time. So I was like, maybe I can't afford it, and then I ended up buying it anyway with these two pairs. So it was like over, it was like nine hundred and sixty dollars or something like that. My wife was uh girlfriend I think at the time was she was freaking out um the fact that that I spent like just about a thousand dollars on on three boxes of shoes which had six shoes in them so I was like six pairs of shoes it's a deal but um all in all it was a, it was a, a, a definitely a nice purchase for myself uh she actually ended up making me sell one of these uh these packs though unfortunately the uh, 
the collection 11, 12 packs. And the reason why is because I wanted a bunch of foam posits coming out. And she said, if you're going to get foam posits, and if you have three pairs of those ones, you have to sell one of them in order to to buy whatever the other ones were coming out. So it was kind of a good buy for myself because I ended up, because it was for the original Penny Hardaways because there was a bunch of other ones that just came out right before the, the original colorways. And then the original colorway came out of the pennies, and I was like, there's no way I'm uh, I'm passing these up. So I ended up uh, I ended up going for it and um, selling these ones for, I don't even know how much they sold for. And then and then I ended up uh, buying a couple pairs of the pennies, the Royal Blues, which I do have uh, over here somewhere. I'm not sure which. I think they're these ones. Actually, I'll pull them out for you guys. Why not? It's going to make a little bit of a crash noise here. These are these are the the Royal Street here. These guys. They're like my favorite. Those are my favorite shoes of all time, if you guys do not know. Um, so I ended up having to sell one of these packs right here. So I had enough money to buy two two pairs of these. And... Uh, well worth it in my opinion. Love love those, but I love the my pennies um, the most out of every, any shoes. So, um, so yeah, my love for foam posits goes way 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 deep, way past uh, this last year when when the hype caught on. Uh, any which way, the video is running a little bit long. Sorry for the double uh, upload today. If you guys didn't see the other video, please check out the other one regarding the pre-order discussion. Um, I think it's a very interesting topic. I'm hoping uh, some of the other guys out there will will jump on board and check it out as well. If you guys. Uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up if you don't mind, and check back for day 12, uh, or excuse me, day 13 tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to bringing that video to you guys as well. Have a good one. We'll, uh, yeah, have a good day. We'll catch you guys later. Thanks.